Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and you might have already seen by the thumbnail and the title of this video. This is day zero for Azure DevOps. Uh, that's right. This is something that I was planning to do for a long time, but due to other commitments, I couldn't. But uh, now the wait is over. Now uh, I have bought you a complete end to end series of Azure DevOps with demos, presentations, uh, concepts, uh, GitHub repository code and everything that is needed to excel you from zero to hero. We will be starting from scratch for the beginners. We will be covering from basic to intermediate to advanced level projects in this particular series. Uh, this is going to be a series of 16 videos. And now I'm going to show you the GitHub repository and all the important dates and things that uh, you would definitely want to know about this series. So let's head over to the uh, GitHub repository and we'll go from there. Okay, so first you have to go to this particular repository. I will share the link in the description section as well. So do not worry about it. So over here, uh, if you scroll down, um, this is a brief introduction about what it is. And then it's been divided into 16 different modules. So let's go ahead one by one. First one, uh, the day one video in that we'll be covering uh, the introduction of Azure DevOps and basic concepts like what is DevOps, what is Agile, what is CI, CD. Then we'll do a quick walkthrough of Azure DevOps uh, PaaS service. And then uh, we will be also doing the creation of Azure DevOps organization and Azure DevOps project to get yourself started with the upcoming demos, right? The next one will be focusing on Azure boards and Agile project management. We will use uh, Azure DevOps demo generator to input some dummy data in our project. And then we will have a look at each of these, like what is Azure DevOps board? Um, how do we define and work items, sprints, feature epics, and, and so on. So all the details are already there. Then we will focus on mastering Git and source control in Azure DevOps as part of a day three video. And all the details are also here. And we will be uh, using a sample application as well, which is static website hosting. So we will be using different applications, different uh, type of applications in each of the videos so that you get to know the real time implementation of how do we actually use Azure DevOps in a organization, right? So for example, in day four, where we'll focus on build and release pipeline, we will look into everything like starting from how to set it up, what are the different stages, parallel jobs, and there are a lot of other things. And then we will be doing it with the help of a sample web application in Azure with blue green deployment strategy. And the day five will be focusing on Azure test plans and testing. Again, there'll be a sample application. I haven't decided yet. So this repository is not final yet. I'm still working on it and I will keep updating it as we move forward. Um, then in day six, we will look into building and deploying sample web application. So this will be a three tier application with front end, back end and database. And we will become configuring different build agents, build steps, Microsoft hosted agent, self hosted agents, and like the difference between all those things. Um, and then finally we'll be deploying the application on Azure using the, using the Azure DevOps pipeline. Day seven will be focusing on project artifacts and Azure artifacts like Azure DevOps has an inbuilt artifact repository that we'll be using. Like how do we upload the package to it? How do we pr promote the package from one feed to another? And again, there'll be a sample application. So then day eight will be focusing on Azure DevOps Wiki, which is similar to Confluence if you have ever worked with it. So if you have not, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll look into it. We'll start with the basic introduction of it and then introduction to Markdown language, which is really important. And then how can we use Azure DevOps Wiki to collaborate on a project? This is uh, basically a service that we use to store all our project related documents and important details, not confidential data, but something that is internal to our organization. And uh, it provides us a way of collaborate with each other in an effective manner. Uh, the bonus point is, I will also show you how you can create effective architectural diagram and that will include the architectural diagram that we create in an organization like high level, low level diagrams using tools such as Draw.io or Visio or Lucidchart as well as I will show you how to create animated architectural diagram. So stay tuned for that as well. 
Then day nine will focus on security and permission in Azure DevOps, like all the role-based access control, how to protect your sensitive data, your certificate management, your, um, your secrets and everything. How do we store and access it securely? We'll look into that. And then finally, we'll be implementing a DevSecOps pipeline for an online banking application. Yes, we will be deploying an entire online banking application using microservice architecture. And this pipeline will be a DevSecOps pipeline. That means it will have all the focus on security. You know, um, it will have static code analysis. It have vulnerability scanning and uh, secret management, a lot of other features. So you wouldn't want to miss this. Then day seven will focus on a serverless application CI CD, you know, including the basic understanding of containers, dockers, how to containerize an application introduction to Azure function, um, because we will be deploying uh, a sample Azure function to Azure using the CI CD pipeline and the sample application that we will be using is a serverless QR code generator. Um, day seven will be a multi-state CI CD pipeline implementing deployment strategies such as blue, green, canary, and managing some of the advanced concepts as well. And again, sample application is yet to be decided. So we'll probably use something like a Netflix clone or a Twitter clone. I'm still figuring out the details for that. Then uh, day 12 will focus on infrastructure as a code using Azure DevOps. That means we'll be creating templates using tools such as ARM templates. And how do we use that inside a Azure DevOps pipeline? Similarly, we'll be using Terraform files. And how do we automate the infrastructure provisioning with the help of Terraform and Azure DevOps? And then uh, there'll be a sample app to do that infrastructure provisioning for you. Then uh, day 13 will focus on container and microservices. That includes deploying your microservices, uh, implementing GitOps with the help of a sample real world example application. Then building a complex real world projects like it includes everything from scratch. Like whenever, you know, when developer commit the code to a Git repo, then um, that repo creates a pull request and, uh, you know, it create it closes a work item and so on. So it will have everything end to end. So it's going to be a complex real world example application and it will have all the best practices included with it. Now day 15 will focus on getting you ready for the interview process or for your or next steps, such as how do we optimize your GitHub profile, LinkedIn profile, what needs to add in your resume based on what you have learned so far in past 14, 15 days. And then we'll also create Another section of interview questions related to Azure DevOps that will really be helpful in your career advancement. Right. Day 16 uh, will be a bonus lecture in that. So whatever issue we face from day one to day 15, uh, those issues like how do we troubleshoot it? How do we fix it? All those issues will be part of this day 16 lecture so that you know how, what is the process of troubleshooting whenever you encounter an issue with a CI/CD pipeline, specifically with Azure DevOps, right? So this will also be really helpful uh, in interview process and, you know, get yourself ready for the interview. And yes, of course, your contributions are welcome. You can contribute to the course material and do not forget to start the repository so that it can reach to maximum people. And, and here are all the links to join our communities like uh, YouTube, Discord, uh, GitHub, and, and all those, right? I would highly recommend joining the Discord community because this is where we'll be discussing all the issues related to this entire playlist, along with anything else that you face. There is a dedicated help channel in the community wherein you can just go and post your query and someone from the community will help you out. I will also try to be as active as possible to respond to your queries. So whenever you are stuck, we are there to help you. You can also comment on the specific videos to get the real time support, but asking your question in the discord community is the easiest and fastest way. Right? So this is the plan so far. I hope uh, I have covered anything, but if I have missed anything, or if you think like I should add a few more details, then yes, feel free to create a pull request or, you know, DM me on LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. I'll try to respond to your queries and try to add if it is relevant to the course that we are planning to do. Right. And do not forget to start this repository. Uh, I've said this again. The plan is like this. 
uh, first video I'll publish on 13th of November and from that day to next 16 days I will be publishing uh, videos on a daily basis so every day at 7 30 a.m EST that means 6 p.m IST I will be publishing a video for the next 16 days and based on what we have discussed so far based on what we have seen so far so stay tuned for that and these videos will be ranging somewhere from 30 minutes to one hour I'm okay to uh, you know take that strict deadline for me as long as you are there to support me as long as you are there to show your commitment uh, to this learning journey along with me I personally believe we can do this together and I am really looking forward to it okay that's it for this video I will see you on 13th November with the first video and each video every day after that so I'm really excited for it and if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and do join our discord community for any feedback anything or any issues that you are facing okay thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day